today, mate. We have a cup of tea as well for uh, my mechanic, Dan. Cup of tea. Oh, thanks very much. Got to start the day off um, good, don't you? Yes. How are you, yeah. mate? Back again. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we're going to finally get come to the end of this. Um, the saga. The, the steering side of things, eh? Yeah. Well, we've had troubles with alignments and. Just this camera up. Um, yeah. yeah. We've had troubles with alignments and things not quite adding up, and <laughs> it looks like potentially there's more bent inside of there. So it's we're, next, we're just going to admit defeat and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and actually uh, replace the lower arms now as well. So you reckon you'll get me on the tools today, mate? You reckon I can give you a hand? I've seen this. I've um, seen this job done a number of times now, back it, and forth. Yeah, it, this is quite straightforward. Yeah, it's, pre it's pretty easy. Maybe um, I can do one side. The, the only thing that will catch us is if the eccentric bolts are seized. Um, we know what, we, we've, we've seen a few of them on this car so far, mate. Yeah, and I'm going to say that they will be. So I've got new ones here. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. No matter what happens, there's new ones going in. Always so, a grinder. There's always a grinder, is that right? There's always a grinder to <laughs> cut them out, yeah. Nice one. Yeah, so... Um, you didn't have to clean the floor for me, though. I, I, I was going to, but... <laughs> <laughs> See, this is, how, this is how this man operates. He's pretty good, isn't he? <laughs> All right, I'll get my coffee out and um, right. work out what we're going to do, mate. Yeah. Oh, look at these bad boys. So these are the lower control arms that are going on the, on the, uh, on the Prado. Been the end of the saga my steering after um, I was out with Ruben at the Coffs Harbour there. Wow, look at these, eh? Look at these bad boys. Alright. Pretty solid. So uh, hopefully that sorts out all, the, all those issues there. Yeah, Get these wheels off there. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah, yeah. You trust me to do that? I, I, I trust you to do that. <laughs> So this is this is how these are adjusted, right? So you, you see this here. If I move this eccentric, right, that what this has done is pulled the arm in at yep. the front here, and then I'm, it's probably going to want to move on me a bit. But if I now do this, can you see the arm physically moving? Now it pushed it out. Okay. Right? So. Yeah, so. so Dan, I'm, I'm a bit limited in my knowledge. So we take this off, don't we? That's that special one where you got to screw back up again so it doesn't all hit you in the face. Is that we, the one? We're not actually going to do it that way. Ah. Oh. This, this, no. The, the lower arms on these are, are actually really nice and simple. Are they? Um, they're super, like to hear super, that. super simple. Yeah. yeah. Um, you basically are taking this bolt off for the, for the lower um, strut mount, the yep. lower eye. We know they're not going to be seized because they haven't long been on. No, they shouldn't be seized. <laughs> Yep. Um, and then we're going to loosen off the eccentric bolts there for the, um, the caster adjustment. Yep. Okay. Um, and uh, or caster and amber. Um, and then there's two bolts underneath here for the all joint. Do you, oh, this one here, you undo that no, one? No, no. Oh, you one. don't even undo no, that one? You don't even undo this, you just do undo they, these two here. Yep. And then the lower arm comes away. Now, you know, we, we were kind of. Well, you were giving a bit of heat and a bit of smash and array and all that 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 particular um, joint. Yeah. Where's that fit in here? Does that is that part of this or not? Yeah, that they're already they're already in there. Pressed into the new arms, as you can oh. see there. Right. And so all the pain that I went through getting your old ones out on the last. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way you normally do it, isn't it? When you're doing this kind of stuff, you would have normally just changed Look, it if it, that was usually. Depending on the state of the vehicle, you know, and how many kilometres it's done, the condition of everything, I, I do opt to put a set of lower arms and when doing a full suspension upgrade, it just makes sense nowadays to... Well, now I can see why it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, back. If the bushes are half worn and you've got a ball joint that needs replacing, the process to actually press these ball joints out and press these bushes out and put new ones in is, is, is pretty lengthy. They're not the nicest ones to do, and control a complete control arm like this um, is is really cost effective now. By the yeah. time you actually buy the bushes and the ball joint and the labour involved to do the job, you may as well actually purchase an arm, take one out, bolt one in. Uh, when you get up over a couple of hundred, oh well, it's it's more 
around about 250 upwards of 250, you, you start to notice that these bushes are gonna become. I just gave it a bit of a. Yeah, I just speed it I, up that. I, I, I think <laughs> I think you hit that side a little bit too hard, and I, I, I I'm pretty sure something's bent in there too now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, we had to kind of do it a bit of a trial and error. It's very difficult to see by eye. Even the wheel aligner didn't pick it up as such. It kind of just wasn't it quite passed. right. So that's that's how you adjust it. So you can see it's physically moving the front of the arm in and out. Okay. Which you can see is slightly, slightly turning the actual and the camera. right. Yeah, so this is basically setting. Like you can see that there, you're the setting caster here because you the the actual where this ball joint is is moving slightly forward or or, or pushing back, right? So camber is when you adjust both of them, and it will pull the arm this way yeah. or push it this way. So can you tell by here, is that on a like, higher setting to bring that back in? Is that that, that's pretty much dead down the middle, really. So something's going on in here? Um, well, I would expect with a lifted vehicle that you should be kind of more shortening this arm slightly. So I would expect, I would expect this to be sitting more around It's hard to tell, yeah. but once you get it on the aligner, it, it it's easier to work out what, what to do, right? But yeah, what, what I'm saying is, I think something is bent here. I think I think that's the, I think that's it. the only thing that's left is it must be bent here somewhere, or in this where the actual car section of the ball joint housing goes into the fabricated section of the arm. Right? That's where I think there's a, there might be a bend just here somewhere because we're basically, this is not sitting at how it should. The bottom of this wheel is sitting too far out. So yeah, I think it's yeah. bent, I think it's bent it up. Okay. Yeah. But um, what we're gonna do is, uh, yeah, we're gonna pull these arms out and pop the new ones in. So these don't feel like they're seized, which is really, really good. I, I was. I would have thought you're actually going to have C's on here, so you just work them out like this. Right, the tube comes out yep. like that, and you can see it's a bit rusty. This this, this is usually what C's is in there, and then you've got to you've got to actually physically cut them out. Not yeah. not not this. You want to cut through the tube to get them out. But I'm very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, the luck we've had lately, mate, is pretty surprising, yeah. isn't it? Uh, I'm glad it's a real nightmare to cut out. Yeah, well, there you go. So you do the exact same. It's the opposite side. You just, you just work them out like this. Right. And then you should be able to get in there and give them a little bit of a, a twist. And they'll slowly work their way out. <laughs> Oh, right, mate, like that. That. So that's just saved you what? About an hour or so? <laughs> These are not so much of a problem. These are just simply a bolt. There's no sleeve that goes through. Um, so they're not so much of a problem. Well, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't just that. It, it, they, they couldn't get it to align for some reason on this side. It was just too far out. But no, I, I don't know why they didn't want to play with these, but Anyway, we're, we're going to, we're going we're to set it up properly. We're going to a more qualified person anyway, aren't we? <laughs> we're going to my, um, my, my, my go-to person. Yeah. But usually I set it up and I say to them, hey look, this is the way it needs to be, this is the specs, or, or these are the specs I'm looking for, and they'll adjust it to suit. Because not, not every vehicle actually wants to go back to factory specs, by the way. Um, you want to set it up specifically for the suspension type. Yeah, this here has a plate on the back. Yeah. Right, on each side there's a plate that goes on the back. And then it's simply a bolt that goes through the middle there. Okay. Now they 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 usually don't get seized. It's it's I say it's the, the sleeves that do.
Now, um, I'm going to throw a question in here for the viewers yeah. and for me because um, the steering part of it, um, I don't know if anyone out there is the same, but I struggle to get my head around it. So I, the camber, this is the camber, isn't it? That's what adjusts it. I, yeah, I, this, just, I can't understand how by yeah. tightening up a bolt that goes this way, how that adjusts okay. it this way. Are you, are you so able to explain this, it? This is uh, to adjust camber and caster. So caster is essentially, um, without going too much into it. No, no, just it, the basic. It's run essentially down. where the, 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 the positioning of your hub in the actual, or on the frame of the vehicle. So you, you can rotate it forwards, rotate it backwards, um, which, uh, which basically elevates or lowers the angle of your steering. And also the... And also as well how the position of the wheel in your wheel uh, wheel arch, so you can move the wheel slightly or move the hub slightly forward, move it slightly back. Yeah, right. Turn it a little bit, you know, so you can basically get um, you can get the alignment as as close to perfect as possible by using these. So if you imagine your arms sitting like this, right, your, your ball joint here, right, you can use these eccentric bolts to do this or do this slightly. Is it to a degree, yep. right? Um, and that just realigns everything. What about, because the problem I got is my wheels yeah. pointing inwards yeah, so, at the top. Yeah, so this whole arm can move inwards and outwards like this, okay, by using these. Okay. Right, so it, it, it can move, it, it can push, let me let me summarize it. It, it can push the, the bottom of the hub out or pull it in and also turn the hub as well for Correct alignment, yeah. Okay. Right. So essentially by pushing it out, you're going to lean the top of your tire in towards the vehicle. By pulling those these bolts in and pulling the arm in, it's gonna push the bottom of your tire in towards the vehicle. Okay. So that's for camber, right? For caster, what you're doing is you're adjusting these, so kind of pivoting that um, that hub to get it square, to get it straight, because it could okay. be slightly off. No matter how much you adjust your toe, it's still gonna be slightly off. Okay. Okay. Right. No, thanks um, for that. Because, yeah, yeah. And, and obviously I've got a problem with that side because yeah, it's, it's coming in too much. I, I, I think you've possibly bent where the ball joint actually mounts into the arm there. It, it's, it's not possible to really see it with, your with the naked eye just looking at it. Uh, the wheel aligner is picking up something there that it's not quite right. And as we've seen, we've had to over adjust to compensate. So something in there is not right. It, it, if we were to get it out on the on the ground and probably you, it's hard to put them side by side but if you were to make up a jig or or or, or get um some measurements using a laser or something like that to actually see how, where it's sitting in the arm you, you'd work out pretty quick that it was it was bent there yeah. so you just get a little punch and just pop this through like that yeah. and so you've just loosened these off these ones here so they're just loosened off they're not right the way off you just want to take a little bit of pressure off of the um, basically where the eye of the strut goes through here. Um, so that should be fairly loose. Now what you do is you remove this bolt here. So there's no need to actually remove any other components with this job. Yeah, right. right, so you just pull them up like <laughs> so. Like oh, that. She's out, yep. So this is how you change your uh, lower arm, say, on the Prado. Yes, yeah. want to you. Under here. Okay. Wow, there you have it. Right, and you're away. Right. Wow. This is, I always recommend doing it as a pair. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, no issues there. So we just need to get this carrier off here, which you saw me do last time. Yeah. Take that nut off there. So that's that. And then you just give it a... She's off. So yeah, that sits up there like that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so 
we just have to work out here when we flip this up. Sorry, we're gonna work it out this way. So that one wants to go like that. So you just gotta be careful when putting these back together because um, there is a little steering stop here, like a little striker plate on the, and that should point towards the front of the vehicle. Right. So as you can see, it's gonna go and hit up against the other side here, like that. You don't want it this way around because one, it's not gonna fit properly, and two, it's actually gonna overextend the steering. So it has to go that way like that. Yep. Mate, I think it's making it look so easy, Dan. Well, I will tell you this, and this is another reason why you buy decent arms. Some of the others don't actually fit that well. Oh, then they're a bit misshapen, or they don't. Like you saw that that literally just slotted straight in, like the other one come out. Yeah, there's they're not they're not all like that. I will tell you. Um, I've had some people supply some cheap ones, and they have not been like that whatsoever. <laughs> I think the best way, mate, is for them just to give you a call if they need some lower arms yeah. anyone. I'm just going uh, to move this. For the sake of making the job easier and actually having an arm that you're going to put in there and basically forget about for the next 10 years, just buy the decent ones. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's not much of it that's the original in underneath anymore, is there? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we say a suspension upgrade. I definitely... Uh, can say that? You can say that. Why is it yeah, well, it, 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 it was looking quite promising when we first started doing it, but then we slowly found out that there was a bit more bent in there than what we both first, oh, first thought. Damn it. There you go. Thanks. It's just not quite wanting to line up at the moment. Here, he's slightly up. Right. Is to get this back in. Yeah. Yep, and then we want to put the eccentric bolts in there. So you can just line it up by eye. And as you can see earlier, we've got some little yellow marks here. Yeah, which is so I can drive out of here, <laughs> That's so that we can get it as close to where it was, and it's, so it's not going to be obscenely out of alignment. So basically, this little notch here, we are just lining up with where our yellow marks were, like that. This will all change once it's on the aligner, but for the moment we're just putting it back to exactly where it was, so it's as close to so that's that, line there, that, that little that little that notch, there. little notch there. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, so what we do with this, and this is just something that I've done now for like the last ten years, and uh, if you ever get one of these that does have, like I say, I'm going to keep going on about these seize bolts because it's a real horrible. <laughs> this this is actually. Um, what I use for putting on brake pads, but it's just it's just a bit of um, anti seize basically. So you just you don't need to actually coat it. Right? There's a little bit on there. Yeah. Right. Now what you do is you feed this one through this way. Right. And then there is a little keyway or a little notch as you can see in here on the back of this adjusting uh, washer right, that sits onto that there as you can see right. like that and then wind it onto the back there you just Again, just set it in there loose. Oh, I see the moment. Where you put that little yeah. pen mark there. Yeah. 
this one for the front. We put anti seize on this, all right. So that then goes in like that. That's your sleeve. That goes in like that. And then there is also a keyway for this sleeve too, so that they both turn in unison, right? So you can see in the back here, there's a keyway. That slides onto here, like that. And then you can tighten up your bolt. There's an integrated nut into the back of this washer. Like that. Adjust these eccentrics, right, so that it gets back to that mark that we were on. Hang on a sec, I've got the wrong one. Oh, there's 24. Right? So, if we get that. Right, so we're just going to put that back around right there to where it was. Okay. And this one here, oh, okay, that's already on it. So, it doesn't mean you flicked it much. I must have, yeah. Been doing the job too long. Get <laughs> <laughs> that across that way a bit, but that's pretty much it there. Now the rule is with this as well: anything on this, never tighten it down to the vehicles at ride height, because otherwise it just overextends or flexes the bushes, and you may as well just throw them in the bin after yeah. five, after twelve months. They'll probably be completely stretched and split and worn out. So we've got the arms in. Yep. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the vehicle down now onto the ground yep. so that it's at ride height and then we will tighten up the lower strut bolts yep. and we're going to tighten up your um, control arm eccentrics as well. We're just going to tighten those up or nip them up because they're going to have to come undone again in a, shortly to get for the, for the wheel alignment. So. Oh, yeah. so we'll do that now and then um, yeah, we'll uh, We'll nip it down, get the wheel alignment done, and then reassess from there. Sure. Yeah. Goes in wheel alignment. Yep. So we'll uh, we'll just put it back up now and put the bash plates back on. Sure, mate. Yeah. Um, and then we're good to go. All right. Done. Eh? Well done. You guys see that little that light there? So if you have that stay on at any time, can you believe it? But these Prados have a steering sensor. So what Adam was explaining to me was that when they've done the wheel alignment. Uh, because of the suspension upgrade and everything that's happened, it's gone out of the perimeters for what this car is set for or what the computer uh, knows it to be set for. So what they've got to do is they've got to zero it back to where it should be and calibrate the computer or the sensor or whatever they do. I'm not sure the technical way of saying it. But anyway, there's a something for you guys at home. Um, if you ever have that little light come on and it just stays on, that's what it is, it's your steering sensor. 